So you can see here it shows six chapter language is English, uh, genre is poetry and published on June 8, 2025. Synopsis it has given about the author it has given, right? And let today's tool is actually fun. Do you remember in day 163 we created comic just using hugging face? Today we are going to do something similar but bigger. We are using an AI to write an entire book. Yep, welcome to day 204 of the 1000 days of no code challenge. So I came across a tool called FastRate which claims to help you get from idea to full book using AI. We are testing the free version today. So let's see how good it is, what it generates and if it is actually good enough for aspiring authors and content creators. Let's get started. So to begin, head over to fastread.io, click on sign up and sign in at Google, use the account and click on continue. Okay, so we are in. Now to write a book, we have an option here, create a new book and it has six options to offer. Create a book, which is basically from scratch, advanced fiction book, advanced non-fiction book, recreate from existing, that is use a template and then recreate it based on your prompt. Recreate from external, right? Where you can import and transform PDF books or looking for ideas. While create a book and recreate from existing are available for free users, the remaining four are available only for pro users. So I'll go with create a book and it's asking who is the author. So I'll go to Teshegde, we need to give some biography. So I've created a biography using ChatGPT. I'm just adding that here. You can also do the same thing or write your own. Uh, we can add some sample here. Enter author sample. This is a short glimpse of your book uh, just to uh, drive curiosity amongst the readers. Okay, so that they can open the book and start reading. Uh, author image. We can add an image here. Yes, this is me. Select tone. Uh, let's go with the uh, humorous style. Could be normal. Click on save. Now we are going to select the gender. And so for the first example, I'm going to use uh, poetry as the gender. And so the purpose, uh, I'm going to add just for fun for children, because that's the topic that we're going to write a book on right now. Audience, I'm going to put it as seven to 10 years old, right? Book length, we have small book, medium book, large book. Small book is available for free. Uh, medium and large will require uh, paid version. Language, we have a lot of language to choose from. I'll go with English. Click on add book. Oh, so I have to select the author and then click on add book. So it has gathered the details. It is now looking for synopsis. So you can see that it has generated a book title and about the author in short and also book synopsis. Now, if you want to change this, you can do that, right? Or if you want to regenerate it, you can regenerate it or you can just go ahead with whatever is make added. Click on add book synopsis. Okay, and that would finish step number two. Okay. Now it has generated the outline of our book, right? So there are up to six chapters added, okay? Along with all the uh, subtopics that will be added uh, into the book, along with the image getting generated for each of the chapters. You can uh, remove any of them or you can add uh, anything in between, right? You could change the uh, topics or subtopics, right? and then finally you click on generate book now one thing is in the free plan it will generate just one chapter right uh, so if we go here this is the book that is getting generated and the status is processing okay these are the trending books which we can use and recreate basis our prompt okay but uh, this should be done in a moment like i was mentioning in the free plan, it will generate just one chapter. It will not generate all the six chapters. And if we feel that this is good enough, then we can probably take the free plan and get all the chapters generated. But I would assume that this would just be a starting point, right? I don't think anyone would want to write an entire book just using AI and then publish it as is. Would you? And there you go. 
so we can see that this book is now published right so as soon as it's written it's already published so you can see that uh, silly socks and sneezing trees okay it has given a title uh, which we already saw and uh, it has added the author name here we can download it from here we can share it we can read online right we could also edit the book so you can see here it shows six chapter language is english uh, genre is poetry and published on june 8 2025 synopsis it has given about the author it has given right and let's go with the read online you can see here that it shows as if it's a real book table of contact and when you click on this one it actually uh, opens new pages which we can read right uh, the tale of a uh, runaway socks when my pencil started talking the secret life of the washing machine and then why my shoes giggle lost buttons adventure okay and then we when the scroll next we have nothing because it generates just one chapter out of the six chapters that it showed us if you go into the paid plan then you will be able to generate everything right we also have switched to text view which is basically like uh so if you go here then this is not generated so it will not open up but uh, we can generate if we have the paid plan that was pastweek.io for you and yes in the free plan it just generates one chapter which might be sufficient for you to understand how powerful it is if the content is good enough or not they could have given one full book but that's fine but to be honest it did a pretty decent job and uh, you could read the story and let me know in the comments below if the story was interesting but i still feel that none of us should be using ai to completely write a book it should be our ideas our thoughts but using AI, we can just enhance it and then publish the book. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.